there, I'm meteorologist and science teacher Ryan Miller. One of the classes I teach is Geographic Information Systems, GIS, taking data, mapping it out to look for patterns across an area. And here we are taking a look at some rural events that have occurred in Washington over the course of 2023. Folks, these are all of the 18,401 reported crimes across Washington for 2023. And of those crimes, over 2,800 are considered Considered to be violent crimes and the violent crimes are occurring in certain locations and in certain pockets of Washington over the course of the last several months and weeks. Now when you look at the neighborhoods in DC and you examine the neighborhoods because certain neighbor neighborhoods have more people than others and if you look at the relative amount of crimes per the population the darker purple colors are showing the neighborhoods that see the highest amount of crime per population in the district. Now, now, let's examine a couple of different phenomena. Not only are there different areas in Washington experiencing different amount of crimes, there is an environmental difference across Washington. Lots of trees and tree canopy and tree coverage across properties and the darker green colors on the map of Washington showing us the neighborhoods with the highest amount of tree coverage. Trees do wonders for the environment. They help to cool the environment. They give us oxygen. They keep the water that is on the land from running off into our waterways. So trees, one of the benefits of having lots of them and tree canopy and tree coverage is a cooler environment. And taking a look at the evening temperatures across Washington in the summertime, some of the hottest temperatures are coincidentally in the locations where there aren't a lot of trees. Northeast and Northwest, even pockets here of Eastern DC seeing high temperatures. And when you take a look and factor in the crimes, the violent crimes, you can see there are some coincidences incidental pattern showing up here where the higher temperatures, the reds on the map, are also locations where crimes are occurring. So is this happening because of randomness or is it happening because of something purposeful and meaningful? You can use statistics to make that determination and determine whether or not these crime locations are really because of random things happening or if there's something meaningful that is causing crime in certain pockets of DC to occur. And that's why we have hot spots showing up. So this is an area. We see Bloomingdale, U Street. You can see Logan Circle and Shaw. These are pockets of D.C. that are not only the hottest and have the fewest trees, but they are statistically seeing more crime. So there is a potential and a link here between the amount of crimes that we have in Washington and the locations they're occurring relative to the environment, relative to the conditions, socioeconomic conditions in those areas here. And that's how you can use GIS to make these examinations and determinations of whether or not there are things we can do as a society to improve the conditions for all in DC. And for Science for Everyone, I'm meteorologist and science teacher Ryan Miller.